top five of our website. You already know what's going on. Another one, number four, final of the week. This week, we've got Mad Lib. This is Mad Lib Medicine Show number five, the history of the loop digger. Before I get into this, let's really check out this artwork though. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not sure what this is inspired by, but you know, this is some serious stuff, man. I love the artwork. Any artwork where there's like hand drawings, cartoon drawings, things like that, you can tell where it's hand drawn. You know, I really appreciate those type of artworks. But anyway, 2010, 2012, Mad Lib went really on a tear with the Mad Lib Medicine Show. You can see this is number five. He had like 10 plus, he had a good amount of medicine shows. And what the medicine show was, it was like an album that he was dropping and he would drop these every month. And the album would be based around a certain topic or theme. So there was a medicine show called medicine show number whatever high jazz there was one uh, where he went more into the old school hip-hop samples there was one where he went more into lo-fi this one from what i've gathered based on my listens number five he's going into his older records and recreating older records recreating older samples that he might have used and he's putting them all in this 34 track lp this is a double disc vinyl so there is a lot of music on here. And even the vinyl, I love the vinyl. Let's, you know, let's take a look at that. Loop Digger, of course, Loop Digger is Mad Lib. Eradication Patrol. You know, take that as you may. And you can see this vinyl has these tracks. Love the artwork. Mad Lib is a guy, and when you talk about vinyls, he is the vinyl high priest. <laughs> like if you collect hip hop records, you probably start with Mad Lib. You probably have a good amount of Mad Lib. If you don't have any Mad Lib, that's a little sketchy as a hip hop collector, because Mad Lib has so many records and he always puts his records on vinyl. Uh, of course, he works with Stone's Throw. Stone's Throw, they're a very respected, very polished hip hop collective, and you know, they do a lot for the culture in terms of vinyl and physical physical copies. This Mad Lib Medicine Show number four, or number five, excuse me, it's so long, it's 34 tracks, so I prepared short notes. You know what I mean? I'll kind of sit this here so it doesn't get too dirty. There, there was a couple things that I took away from Mad Lib Medicine Show number five. It's 34 tracks though, so you know, I need my notes to help me, <laughs> help me remember what I liked. Episode 11, now you look at the track list. These, some of these tracks don't really have formal titles. You can see B1 through, you know, C8 is episode, episode, episode. You see there's a couple title tracks like Real Days, Life from Outer Space. I really liked episode number 11, had a cool piano, it's very upbeat. Episode number 12, there's this rap sample that I liked on there. I couldn't pinpoint who it was. It sounds like an East Coast, older East Coast boom bap type rapper. And there's this like hummy, dreamy type horn on there that repeats throughout the loop. That was really dope. Episode 16 had this real black exploitation film feel to it. You know, that's so that took me back to like Superfly and Curtis Mayfield and things like that. And Real Days. Real Days is one of those songs that actually has a title track right here. I like that because it's, I think one of the members of the Loop Pack is rapping on Real Days. So it took me back to those Loop Pack days. Um, but other than that, episode number five, I've got to go. I'm sure you hear that phone. Top five rap website. Peace.